going to do biceps today. And uh, we're going to use the universal machine. And we're going to use the bench press part of the universal machine. Excellent piece of equipment. And uh, the way we're going to do it, use it, is to uh, it really to directly go to your bicep. The, the way you want to get into this machine is you want to get as close as you can to it. You're in between the bars. I'm pretty sure you people have this somewhere. And when you curl it, watch what's going on with my hands and how high they go. They're not really uh, my elbows and uh, my hands, that's it. Now, it goes up to there, but my elbows are back. They're back. One, and I'm going to do 15. See what I'm doing? Wrist up, wrist up. Wrist down, wrist up. Wrist down, part ways. Don't lean back, don't do this, don't go here. Straight up, boom. And I'm going to do 15 reps. A nice pace. Yep. Nice and clean. Concentrate on what's going on. And then when I get to the 15th one, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one set. You want to do that. Five sets like that. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do 20 reps with a five second hold on the last 10 or 15 reps, do 10 regular and five with a five second hold for the last five reps. Mix it up. It doesn't have to, don't have to be done in a certain way. And don't think that this is the best bicep exercise there is in the world. It's just a exercise. But when, if you do this right, you're really gonna feel it. They're great, They're, it's, it's, it's fun. And they give you a super pump. You get very, very strong after a while in them. And they're very, and, and after this, it's very important to do, this, to do this complimentary move after the fact. And that's this setup over here. Now, I made, a, made this in the gym. I made this extra loop down here. It's a push down bar. Put a little nut, welded it on. And, uh, I uh, want to say one thing. I saw a guy doing this about 30, 40 years ago, and his name was Crompton, Billy Crompton. And I've never was their beautiful. They're great. Uh, he had an injury, couldn't do other things. He came around and did this, and I fell in love with them uh, by accident. And uh, I, I continually do them. Uh, they're fabulous. We improvised a little bit more on them. We did other things other than that. But here's how they're done in reps. These are done in 20s, 30s, 40 reps. Must be done. And it's going to collect down here in your bicep down low, upper part of your forearm. Beautiful. And uh, it's a very quick, stiff movement. This is the starting position. Stay close to the cable, uh, the machine, and you're going to raise it up. Look, see what I just did? Look at my hand, backwards. Boom, boom, boom. This is the speed. I'm gonna do 30. This is the speed you wanna do, the tempo. Keep it moving, boom, boom. Excellent for your bicep, especially after doing those curls over there. Excellent. And we're gonna to get to 30, and when you get to 30, boom! One. Two! Now, excellent movement, good combination. You're gonna get a pump. They're gonna get beautiful feel from them. This is something that you, you could play with maybe two, three times in the month. Um, but there are a lot of other exercises, but these two are very unique in their own right, and, it, and you should advance on them, you know, don't just stick to that, this is it, this is the thing, and use your intuitiveness, and start advancing them more, but use rope, use the rope, but this V-bar upside down, can't beat it. Curls like that, make sure you're standing close in, bink, 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 I'm telling you, your biceps will have a nice, 
look to them in a couple of months. All right, stay in tune. We're going to do some more nice things. Have a good day.